Hi everybody. Today I'm going to do an update on my watermelons and I'm also going to show you how to hand pollinate watermelon flowers. There's a couple reasons somebody might want to pollinate flowers. One would be maybe you want to make an intentional cross or maybe you want to make sure that a certain watermelon variety doesn't cross with another variety because you want to save seeds and you want the seeds to be pure. Um, another reason somebody might want to hand pollinate their watermelon flowers would be if you have a lack of pollinators, which I don't, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyhow. This is a female flower, and as you can see, right underneath the flower, there is what looks to be a little watermelon fruit. Now this is not going to grow into a watermelon unless it's pollinated. These are male flowers. You can see the difference between the female and the male. The male um, doesn't have a fruit forming behind it like the female does. So I just pick a couple of male flowers off the plants and then Look, I'm getting pollen on my fingernails, so that's a good sign. This one has a lot of pollen. I just pick off the petals so I know that the flowers are going to make good contact with each other. And then just go like this. Just dab it in there. And I can see pollen transferring onto that female flower and then I'll just do the other one I'm not going to take the petals off you just want to make sure that you're using female flowers that are open and male flowers that are open okay and that's all there is to it it's really easy and in a few days, hopefully, I'll be able to see if the pollination took. And if it did, then this is going to be, I think, my first watermelon. I don't see any other ones on the vine. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.